Hello there, I'm Thomas and I'd like to talk to you about some work I did with Tim Yoniak. So we're interested in schematic map design, like metro maps. They're cool, but a lot of work goes into the design. Here's one I did by hand in a normal graphics design program. And changing even the smallest thing about it is really annoying because to the program it's just lines and circles and text. And none of it means anything. I can't tell it what I want on a semantic level. If I move this red line, I have to clean up the rest of the network. Maybe like this, or like this. You kind of have to feel your way around the design, and it's a massive faff to do it by hand. Now, of course, there are algorithms that automatically lay out metro networks. Uh, the results can be quite good, but if you're really going to use the map, like print it and hang it in a train station, use it. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to tweak it at least, if not heavily edit it. If you don't like exactly what you got, it's kind of on you to do it by hand anyway. The solution, we think, is algorithmically guided user interaction. Some algorithms, just by how they happen to work, can take hints. That's not our terminology, there's a bunch of literature there. You can do this with Nomebeck and Wolf's classic ILP for metro map drawing, for example. It has a variable per edge that decides its orientation. We can easily fix some of these variables and thereby force a particular direction. With a warm start ILP solver, this will even be pretty fast. So let's say you don't like the bend in the red line. You can set up a normal graphics program to do this for you, if the left and right parts aren't connected, it becomes very complicated to move anything in strongly connected networks. But the ILP knows about the network and about good layouts, so we could just say, this edge has to be horizontal, solve the ILP again, and then uh, maybe you get something like this, where the part on the right is just translated and we'll imagine for now that the rest of the network got patched up somehow. And this patching up is precisely why you want an algorithm to do it. So a solution like this would probably be pretty nice, but it's, it's not going to happen. Uh, I'm sorry to say. This is just an example and not like actually mathematically optimized, but what you're going to get is probably this or something like it, you're just going to get the bend again. The algorithm had a reason to do it in the first place, and if not here, then well, probably the next edge is uh, nearly as good. We could power through, add some more hints, maybe end up like this. That took more steps than I would have liked, and we end up not actually saying what we wanted. With these hints, the algorithm is no longer allowed to turn the entire line, even if all I wanted to say was don't do the bend. But that wasn't in the vocabulary, let's say, of the hints that I could give to the algorithm. Now, in the upcoming demo of our system, you'll see that I also fight with it a little bit at some points because we haven't, uh, we haven't solved this. Uh, it's an open problem and it's, it's an interesting design challenge. Uh, just like you need to carefully design a user interface or an algorithm, you also need to carefully design a vocabulary of hints and, and all of this influences these other. We say a bit more about this in the paper, but let's get to the demo. This graphically looks a lot worse than the animation I just showed you, but this is an actual tool running live in the browser. The layout algorithm we use is uh, Bust Browser and Storant's embedding algorithm. And now what you can do here is say, for example, select the edges from here to here, straighten that, hit enter. And that took only a fraction of a second. You can also move stations on the grid. It updates the connected edges in real time. And when we let go, the rest of the network gets uh, recomputed. Sometimes this leads to surprises, which is a problem, but I'll fight with it for a bit. And now, given what we've done, it now decided to change the red loop in the south. And I actually prefer this. Let's leave it like that. I'll fast forward through some more edits. And now let's look at the hints that are currently in the system. We straightened this line, we fixed these stations. That's pretty harsh to fix that much. So let's remove some of it. And I want you to note that the algorithm could suggest this based on a sensitivity analysis. Like, are you sure about this hint? I would really like to remove it. But again, see the paper. Uh, okay, I, I think I like it like this. On this zigzag actually seems unnecessary. Let's see what happens if we reposition just the first station. Uh, excellent, uh, it figured it out. 
Um, and that's about it for our time. So there is actually a lot more to talk about and even more to still solve. Uh, but I hope we have inspired you a little bit and uh, check out my YouTube channel where we do have some more material. Um, cheers. <laughs>